It's time. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please turn your attention to the center stage. Underneath this cloth is something very special and very important to Mr. Legend Sexy. He wanted it for a very long time before he got it. That's right, a new carry gun. I'm just messing around, guys, but in all seriousness, this deserves a jumble before I show it. It's a new carry gun, but... That's right, guys. Here it is. A new Smith & Wesson Model 327 8-shot 357 Magnum. It only weighs 21 ounces for a full-size end frame. It has a scandium frame titanium cylinder, a 2-inch barrel. It has custom crimson tray scripts put on by me. It has the Smith & Wesson trigger job done to it by the Performance Center. It used to have a red ramp front sight, but I never liked that too much in any of my guns. So what I did is had this drilled out on that sight because they don't make an aftermarket for it. We put in a high-vis tube in there so you get fast target acquisition. And yes, this is loaded because that's the way I carry it. It doesn't bother me. just want to show you guys I did get three moon clips machined with it, which is nice to have. And I love it, guys. The trigger job on this is awesome. So light. Even the double action is so smooth. One of the best revolver trigger jobs I've ever had. I have a DeSantis holster for it. It came from Smith & Wesson, but it's fitted for the gun specifically. It rides high in my waist, so it makes it easier to draw. And I like it. It's comfortable when I sit down, when I'm walking, when I'm carrying. You hardly feel it on your belt. I do carry 180 grain, 357 Magnum, semi-jacketed hollow points in this. They pack a punch. And even in this revolver, they're very controllable, which is awesome. But yeah, guys, I know I was messing around before, but I've wanted something like this for a long time. I've been moving away from semi-autos because I like to keep it simpler. I don't like to rack a slide or do other things like take off the safety because I've been in situations where you have to do stuff like that and under stress it makes it a whole lot harder. I just like having the mental safety. Don't pull the trigger unless you're ready to shoot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will do an extensive review on this gun sometime in the future. Give you guys my thought. Of, I've only been shooting this for probably a month now so only a couple hundred rounds through it and I want to put at least a thousand before I give you guys my thoughts. But yeah, guys, remember to rate and comment. And if you guys want to do a video response, I'll gladly approve it. I'll talk to you guys later.